Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melter Production, and today I thought I'd go over M Recorder. Someone asked me about this recently, so I thought I'd do something on it. I don't believe I've gone over it before, and there's lots of cool things you can do with this. This is basically a program that just lets you record a WAV file in your DAW, or sometimes you can use this in, let's say, other like video editing software or something. So if you just need something quickly, like maybe, oh, I want like a quick sample of something, maybe I want to resample something, this is great. Also, this is inside, uh, MXXX, and I believe even inside M Sound Factory, if you have the full version, it should be in here. So let's see, yeah, recorder here. It's the exact same thing. Uh, the reason I like using it in M Sound Factory is if I need to like make a sample of something, I can make that really easily. Uh, but let's try to use it outside of this and show you a few things you can do with it. So you open it up here, it has the path, file name, postfix, and the bitrate. Let's move the bitrate down just because I don't need this for anything, but you can set it however you want. I think it's best. I'm gonna set this 16 just to save some file size. Let's make a path for this. Let's use desktop. I'm gonna put it in here. Of course, for your own use, put it wherever you think is best. Uh, I'll call this file name since this is on my drum track here. Call it drums, postfix. Usually it might leave this off, but you can put like the time and date. So maybe if I have many iterations of this, it might be easier to tell when I did it. And I had the bit rate. Next we have the record, pause, and cancel. So record self-explanatory, pause. If I record something, I can wait a second. I don't want to have a big space in there. I hit pause and then I can correct whatever I want to, turn it off and it'll start recording again. And then cancel in case I just really mess up. That way, you know, if you try to record something, oh, I want to record a quick guitar lick, but halfway through I mess up or something, I can cancel in that way. I don't have to worry about having a bunch of uh, files on my computer that I can't use. It just erases it. The next part is also really uh, useful too. Mute when recording if you don't want to hear it. Synchronize all instances, which is what we're actually going to do. I'm going to show you how to do that. Record only above threshold. So when you use this, it means that uh, for your threshold, it's not gonna start recording until it gets above this. So if I have like some low level noise, let's say I'm recording a vocal, and of course your microphone always makes some sort of sound, but it's gonna wait until it maybe goes over negative 24.8 decibels here, and then it's gonna start recording. So it's not you know just recording a bunch of dead air. That's what that's for. Uh, pause when playback is disabled. So if I'm recording something and I like stop it or something, it'll just pause it. And restart when playback starts. That means when I hit play again, it'll start again. So that's good. Down here in post-processing, you enable this. So this is trim threshold. So when it gets below a certain point, it'll just stop, fade in and fade out. So here we have fade in and fade out. I'll, I'll use this so you can hear what happens. It'll just add a fade in and fade out and normalize. So in that case, you record something quietly, do this, it'll bump it up. And the retrospective recording, here you go. So you can put this in case uh, maybe you record it and you're like, wait a second, right before I hit record, I played something cool. Now you can actually capture that if you want. Oh, don't hit this record now. So that's what that's for. Uh, so far we don't have anything, but let's record some of this here. I'm just working on this is kind of like a small project. I haven't even mixed it or done anything. I'm not even done with it yet, actually. This is just kind of a, a draft idea, but here we go. So there you go, that, there's that. Let's add some other instances here. I'll just move these over like this. Okay, and this is bass, so I'll change this to bass here. I'll change this to piano. So for some reason I need to you know, make stems of this and I didn't want to do it in my DAW for some reason, or let's say it's not even my DAW, I'm you know, recording this like live or something like that. So this is a good way to use this. Or maybe I just have my friends over at my house. I don't want to record it in my house. I just want something quick so I can get the idea down. So I have these. What I'm going to do is synchronize all instances here. So that way they should all play. Synchronize all. Oh. Turns them all on for you automatically. So let's also turn on 
the fade in. Let's set this uh, maybe some level I can actually hear. If you set it too short, you probably won't even notice. So let's say thousand. Okay, that's pretty noticeable. So one thousand here, one thousand here, and one thousand here. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just play this and then I'm going to hit record and they should all start recording. Okay, stop the recording. It should all be synced up. So when I look in my computer, I should have files for each of these and I'll try to show you what came out of there. So in recorder video, you see they have the date here when I'm doing it. And so now if I put these in here, let's try drums on a new track. There we go. I'll solo this. Let's try the bass here, new track. And one more, let's put the piano in there. Move it back here. So here it is, and it should have the slight fade in. So let's solo all these and listen to them. And you can hear the you know small fade in, fade out there. So that's basically what it does. It's very simple. Now, lots of times you think like, oh, I don't really need this. But there are some times, let's say if I was putting everything into a group and let's say I think, you know what? I just kind of like to sample this. If I could get a small sample, make a loop out of it, maybe put some effects on it and then, you know, resample it, put it in, uh, you know, something else like MXXX or I mean, not MXXX, in like M Sound Factory and have it play a sample. Uh, different things you know it's really useful for things like that so uh, i think this is a great uh, tool to have and this is part of the free bundle so of course if you want to unlock the extra features you have to pay extra but it's in there for free you can at least try it out and use it for basic tasks but really cool uh plug in and really useful sometimes so hopefully i answered all your questions i forgot to hit normalize but that's okay hopefully you can understand what that does it just raises the volume to you know uh right before zero db for you so if you have any other questions about it please leave those down below uh if you like this give me a thumbs up and check out all the other plugins at melderproduction.com till next time see you